All right, now we're going to discuss mortgages. This is our last video for 2.4. And, you know, you can read these notes on your own. But buying a house will most likely be the most expensive thing you purchase in your lifetime. Whether it's in your, you have already done it, or if it's in your future, or you think it's not in your future, maybe learning about it will solidify any decision you make. One thing we need to talk about is you have to have a down payment when you buy a home, and that can be anywhere between 5 to 20% of the home's listing price. Um, ideally, it would be 20%, but that is huge, and that is really hard to save that much money. I'm speaking from personal experience. So I was not able to buy my home for 20% down. So you know I chose a much lower percentage, and then you have to pay mortgage insurance which that's annoying in itself, but it gets you into a home quicker. Um, so let's put this into action. So example six, Letitia and Jerome would like to buy a $450,000 home in Northeast Portland. They plan to put down a 20% down payment. So they're being the really wonderful consumer. You know, they have their act together to buy a home. So it says how much would they need to would they need for the down payment? So once again, we're drilling home this percentage idea. So if I need to put 20, or they need to put 20% down for a $450,000 home, it's going to be what the home's listing price is times the 20%. And when I do that in a calculator, you get $90,000. So right there, you can see how challenging that is. I can't Hopefully in my lifetime, maybe I'll get there, but <laughs> that's a lot. So that's what they're going to put down. They have that already in the bank. And then the next question says, how much will they be financing? And what I'm asking there is, how much do they actually have to ask the lender to lend them? Well, they don't need the $90,000 to be lent to them because they already have it. So their home price is $450,000, but they already have the $90,000. And so that's why they're only going to finance $360,000. All right, so let's put this into action in another way. So that's how much we have to finance and our down payment. But now we're going to discuss mortgage payments, okay? So we're going to talk about like how much could you afford monthly, so then you would be using this payment function. Okay, so after we subtract the down payment from the cost of the house, we are left with how much we finance. And that's how we can figure out how much we can afford every month. The most common loan terms for a mortgage are between either 15 years or a 30-year loan. The mortgage interest rate is usually lower than credit cards or other installment loans. So, you know, right now they are the lowest I think they've ever been. And so they're around like 3%, 3 to 4%. But, you know, a long time ago they were at 8%. So you may either take an adjustable rate in which the interest rate adjusts on the prevailing rates or a fixed rate loan in which the interest rate is guaranteed over the life of the loan. And again, it just depends on what works best for you. Um, in this class, we're going to just focus on the fixed loans. So our last example, how much will the monthly payment be on a $290,000 house if you put 5% down and you take a 30-year fixed loan with 3.75% APR? All right, so key thing, how much will the monthly payment be? So I'm going to use my payment function. My rate is 0 0.375, and it's monthly. I'm paying this every month for 30 years. Oh, I jumped the gun, and I didn't mean to. I will be transparent, although I'm glad I did it because this will happen to you. 
I don't want to go ahead and take out $290,000, right? I have to actually figure out how much I'm financing by figuring out that 5%. So 5% of 290,000 dollars is, let's go ahead and bring up sheets. And I'm gonna go here. So let's see, I need to do equals 290,000 and I need to multiply it by 0 0.05. And that gives me, let me go ahead and make this larger for you, 14,500. But really, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. I'll come back to that in a second. But really what I need to finance is $290,000 take away what I do have for my down payment. So, 290,000, oh, forgot my equal sign, equals 291,23, watch those zeros, that's a very common thing I mess up on at least. So really I'm financing $275,500. Now I figure out what my payment will be. So I'm gonna go here, it's gonna be equal payment, my rate, which is luckily 3.75%, so 0 0.0, don't forget this guy, very common mistake, divided by 12. I'm gonna have this for 30 years, and really what I'm financing is $2,750,500. And I want this loan to be zero at the end of those 30 years. So I'll go here. Equals payment. And my rate is 0.0. .0 375 divide that by 12 I'm doing this for 12 year, 12 months for 30 years and I remember you find how much the down payment is take that off of the listing price so really you're only financing not only but <laughs> 275,500 and you want it to be zero so let's see. So it looks like my monthly payment will be $1,275.88. So I want to say that. The monthly payment. Again, please pay attention to when you submit work to answering complete sentences. Will be... Now, for ease of this problem, because we're not going to get into the nuances, this is accurate for this problem. Um, but if this was real life, because you only put 5% down, you would have to pay mortgage insurance, which is roughly like $100 a month. So really, your monthly payment would be about thirteen seventy five eighty eight. If you put 20% down, you don't have to worry about that mortgage insurance. Okay, I'll see you next time.